Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dad Pacino here. Show and tell, number 37. Establishing a shot. The light looks good. Everything is a go. For some reason, uh, I was very fired up to do this episode. Uh, because uh, the way I ordered the cars and when I went peg hunting at Target, everything just fell into place. Um, I was kind of a little disappointed because I didn't see certain cars on the pegs uh, like the uh, Hot Wheels car culture uh, street tuner series. There are a lot of Disney, uh, Marvel, and DC uh, tie-in cars. I also didn't see the 51st uh, anniversary cars at all. But uh, that's the way it is sometimes. You know, you could just got to roll with the punches and move on. And I think we, we found uh, some good models for the episode, so... Let, without further ado, let's get into it. Show and tell, number 37. First, let's start with uh, a car that I've been waiting for for about two weeks now. Uh, it came from Japan. And that wasn't my intention. I thought I was getting it from a secondary uh, seller. Second, I guess, yeah, it was what we call them on Amazon sellers. And they never really mention, unless you go into the information or provide the information, where the seller is getting the car from. So, it came directly from Japan, as you can see. And it's a Tonka. I don't know when this casting came out because they really don't, even just looking at the copy rate like I am, and they don't put no date up there. I don't know why. But it's, it's I think it's definitely an older casting because I've seen it in people's collections and online and stuff like that for years. But I'm happy to have it. It's a, a Toyota Crown Comfort Taxi. One of the doors openers. It's a lot of detail. Nice suspension. As you can see, headlights, tail lights. Look at that grill. But it reminds me of um, Matchbox. It always does. The way they, their wheels are. The way their wheels are and uh, the way it's set up, the way they'll do stock and service deco. That's my uh, other Toma because uh, I had the Toyota Land Cruiser and it's kind of covered by these cars, but the G Wagon. And the initial D, uh, Toyota AE86. So it's a good addition to the collection. Uh, we're moving on. Uh, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, uh, I went to Target and did a little peg hunting. Uh, I haven't been able to do that in a while. I mean, mostly all of this summer because there's been construction. So back to my routine, at least when I feel like it after work. Sometimes I'm a little tired. Well, let's get into it. I picked up some Matchbox. This is a 51 Willys Jeep pickup 4x4 from the NBX Construction Series in yellow. Got headlights, no tail lights. 
Not with detail. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, next, we got this uh, 33 Plymouth PC sedan. I guess PC stands for police car. And it's MBX Rescue Series. I have one like this in some brown. Too bad they don't have the fog lights done like right here. It'd be cool with some headlights. I don't know if I, if I might customize this. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, and from the uh, MBX Service Series, we got the Subaru uh, Sandbar truck. With like some uh, something Tomica would do. It looks similar. Like something Tomica would do. It has tail lights, but it doesn't have headlights. Sorry, folks. They're doing some construction in this area or something. A lot of noise. But, um... Next, we got this uh, Pool, Poop King. Sorry, I said Pool King. Poop King from uh, NBS Construction Series. And this is... I've seen some of these in real, in real life. Because I work in a museum... And we have an outside pavilion area where, you know, they put on concerts and stuff. And we have uh, sculptures and stuff out there. So, I seen one of these pick up the actual pool parties and even service them. That's what this tank is for. It it picks up the, uh, they put a tube in, in that, inside the porta parties and get out the waste, you know. And then they clean it. Put the cleaning uh, solutions in there and redo them. So, it's pretty cool, man. And we got to be doing some uh, cool uh, service vehicles. Next, let's get into these Hot Wheels. Uh, we got a Lamborghini uh, Countach Pace Car from the HW Exotic Series. And this is older. This is 2000. Excuse me about that, but oh well. This is a 2018, but it's on that older card. I think I got one of these. Because it's a pace car and it's a police car, too. So, I got to check that out. And, uh, this is the custom 01 Acura Integra GSR from the HW Speed Graphics Series. Good little casting. Sometimes I'll get disappointed because they don't put headlights and taillights. I got one of the only models from the main line that has headlights and taillights on this. And it's, it's yellow. I think it's a white one, too. That has headlights and taillights. Custom 56 Ford truck from the uh, Rod Squad series. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm digging it. It's the main line, though. Well, it's pretty cool. This is, is again, one of the old old cards, older cards. I think it's from last year. It has to be because it says 50 Hot Wheels. I don't, I don't know if I have one of these or not. So I have to look through my collection. Custom 67. Plenty got Firebird. On the HW Flame series. I probably would have left it on the pegs if I would have noticed that. Um, uh, Aston Martin. DB. Uh, I think that's S. DBS. Uh, from the uh, HW Exotic series. Cool casting. I don't know why they didn't do the tail lights, and I don't do not like them wheels. But oh well, it's a main line. Uh, Corvette Grand Sport from the HW uh, Race Team series. No tail lights. Kind of don't like them graphics. I don't know why I don't like HW Race. Team graphics, but oh well. It, it's cool though. Uh, 
card that I haven't got in my collection for some reason. I don't have one of these. It's Volkswagen SP2 Volkswagen. It's been out for a while from the Volkswagen series. I think I already have one of these, I think. The Porsche Panorama uh, Turbo S E Hybrid Sports Turismo. And it's not. Okay. HW Green Speed. So I'll probably just put this in my extra box. I was kind of rushing because, you know, it was after work. And I was trying to get in and out. And I was hungry, so 69 Ford Torino Talladego in the HW Flame Series. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I might try to find one of these uh, Ford Torinos, early to Ford Torinos in green light and shining light. I know there were a lot of people used them as race cars back in the day. And this is this famous uh, five pack that everybody's going to go gaga over because of the skyline. Which doesn't have any tail lights, but oh well. Because those are light covers. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Because they got the Mazda, I think, MX5 in there. Uh, this is a Ford uh, Escort Rally. I like the wheels. Uh, this is the uh, Mad Manga Basazuku custom car. It's finally got one with the pipes on the back like it's supposed to be. You go on YouTube, you'll see, you look at car shows in Japan, you'll see that they have cars like this. A lot of them are modified uh, Toyotas or either... I think Monster RX, early uh, Monster RX 7s, or either, uh, they usually use Toyotas, though. That's a popular model. And this is a Chevelle. That's pretty cool, I guess. I like the paint job more than the model, to be honest. Next, we're going to get into my haul from Wednesday, which was from Amazon. And uh, we're going to start off with a, a, a Majorette Subaru WRX STI. And I'll correct, this is from 2018. Are they giving me? There's a lot of stuff up here. I remember right there when I was ordering it, it said it's from 2018. Um, I don't feel like going through all that. Maybe it's on the back. It's not giving no information. But um, it's a Subaru WRX. It's got to be at least from two years ago. Or maybe three years ago. Because that's the body style four years from now. This door's open. A lot of detail. Headlights, tail lights. Only thing these rails are not rubber. Very detailed though. <clears throat> nice interior. Only thing I wish it was a right hand drive instead of a left hand drive, but oh well. And this is my second majorette. This was my first. There's a Volkswagen Golf, which I had problems with because of the scale. So it looks like it's the size of the SUV. And a Golf is supposed to be the size of this Honda. But the uh, the hatch in the back opens, so a lot of detail. 
and Maggie Jarrett is making their way back to the States, but they're, they're doing it safely. They, they're doing models that I think are more common in the U S they're not doing a lot of European or Japanese, uh, domestic models, which is kind of sad. This is, that's the reason why I get uh, cars like this. Hey, it's a Miho exclusive. Miho be everywhere. Um, next, let's get into uh, this Johnny Lightning 50th anniversary Corvette. And it's a 1955. Oops, I'm sorry. My card just came out. I'll pick that up later. Yep, I'm live, folks. <laughs> and this is the model. And it came out in 2000. And let's say. saw it up here earlier I think 2002 this came out in 2002 and so you can see a lot of detail very beautiful car the, the hood opens but I'm not opening it right now because it it doesn't open that wide and it's very stiff look at all that detail Man, that's cool. I kind of wish the interior was black to contrast with this bronze, like metallic paint. But oh well, they did a good job on this. And it's an older cast, and that's 2002. Look how clean that is. Yeah, the car is a little beat up, but the 2002 that's not looking bad. And this is the this is the go with the theme of. The 46th anniversary Corvette I got from Johnny Lightning. This one, which is a 1999 release. And this is a 98 Corvette, though. Yeah. So, this was the earliest Corvette I had. And it was a best example of the earliest Corvette I had. Because I think I had some mainline Hot Wheels that have the first generation Corvette uh, body, but they don't have any headlights or tail lights or whatever. Yeah, yeah, doesn't have headlights, but it has a lot of detail, no tail lights. And I think this is a Sapphire gem from the paint and. This is my previous, this is my other Sapphire gem, and the paint is so similar, even though it's a little different color, but um, it's a nice paint job. You can sell the age by the wheels, and they're not the best condition wheels, because this, this was considered a main line. And... For some reason, I gotta bring out my Larry's Garage uh, Corvette because this is a celebrated Corvette body style. This is 1963 Corvette Stingray with a split window tail. I mean, split window uh, back window, which is only available for 1963, and this is a Larry's Garage. I want to say it's from 2006-2007. So I started back collecting around 2007-2008. Yeah. I think it, we had a pretty good haul. Uh, while I got time, I'm going to tell you to uh, please subscribe to Tune Tracks Racing. Help fight leukemia. 
Uh, I would really appreciate if you help those folks out at Tunes Tracks Racing. Especially my little buddy Jason. Uh, let's look at some stuff we had from the last, I think the last time we had the Dodge Coronet uh, Bar Fine 1970 from Johnny Lightning. You can see the rust details. All the detail in the back. This is a cool casting, man. Look at the engine detail. Mixed match tire and rim. More rust detail. This is Super B. And you can see the insignia. It's kind of blurry. Yeah. That's cool. And then we had this uh this green light. Oh man. She's coming apart on me. We're alive. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that happen. It came loose. But um things happen. It's back in there. And it's a green light uh, taxi for the New York Taxi Series. And uh, it's a Ford Fusion. And I think this is from 2014, if I'm correct. Yeah, 2000. The casting says 2012, which is impossible because they're saying it's a 2013 Ford Fusion. I think this is from 2014. That's when the series came out. It's a cool addition. And it's falling apart, though. Guess the glue or whatever wasn't so good. But it's die cast. I had a green light. Or something else happened where the siren came out of my Starsky and Hutch. But, um, that's the way it is with diecast, man. Gotta love them. Uh, this is the VW that I didn't feature. I think I featured it when I opened it. I don't think you can see the hatch opens, but now it's being difficult. I wanted to show the engine detail, but... Apparently, it don't want to cooperate. But, um, yeah, it's from 1940. It's a VW Beetle Type 1. A lot of detail. Cool addition to the collection. Like I always say around this time, man, not the best channel. But then again, this is not the worst. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, otherwise, we just showing a little love to Diecast. Want to thank the subscribers, man. Uh, we just gonna keep doing what we're doing, man. Let's keep what doing what we're doing. Till next time, this is Big Dapacino, Show and Tell number thirty-seven. Peace. Uh.